Good afternoon, second graders. We are ready for another story in our green reader. It's hard to believe we only have two stories left before we turn this green reader in and get our second one for the school year. So the story we're going to read today, or I should say this week, is A Weed is a Flower. And once you read it, you'll figure out the meaning of that title. But it's a story that tells the life of this man right here. His name is George Washington Carver, and he was a scientist. We're going to practice our high frequency words so that we can read those when we come across them. And remember, these can be found anywhere. So please repeat after me. Close. Hours. Money. Neighbor. Only. Question. And taught. Great job. Looking at those words, is there one that you know is a noun? It's a person, place, thing, or product. Is there a word that you know is a verb? It's an action, something you do. Let's learn some of the meanings of these words. The first two I want you to learn are clothes and hours. Can you say those? Great. Close, it's not like close the door or close the window. This has a different spelling. And this clothes are the things that people wear and are usually made from cloth. So we can see these clothes hanging in a closet. They're made of cloth, which you might see is part of the word clothes. That might help you when you're deciding which clothes are we talking about and how to spell it. The next word is hours. This hours is not showing ownership. Like, ours is the best cake at the bakery. This, hours with an H, means one or more of the 24 hour equal parts of a day. So we all know that in one day there are 24 hours, they're equal parts, and each hour is one of those 24 hours. Can you tell me what time it is on this clock? This hours has a silent H in front of it. Please say these after me, money, neighbor, only. Great job. We've been practicing counting money in math and we know that money are coins and paper as the two forms that they usually come in that we're used to. And they're used as a way to pay for a good or a service. A good might be something that you need or want and you have to pay for it using some money. Or a service might be getting your hair cut, have to get your car washed. So you're paying for a service. I know there are other ways to pay for things, debit card, credit cards, but money. We have to make sure we know how to count our money. The next word is neighbor, and that's a person who lives, who lives next to or near another person. So here's a neighborhood, and people that are in these houses or apartments, they call themselves neighbors. The neighbor is right next to you, but many times it could be, might say the person next to you might be your neighbor in the classroom. Maybe it's your neighbor at the lunchroom table, someone that's right next to you. But we usually think of neighbors mostly in a neighborhood. The word only means all alone or by itself. When something is all by itself and alone, it's the only one there, like this cookie or muffin. It's the only one on the plate. So 
please repeat these words, question and taught. Great. A question is a sentence, a phrase, or a word that asks for information or is used to test someone's knowledge. So a sentence can be a question, a phrase. A phrase is shorter than a sentence, still be a question, or one word could be a question. I think lots of times it's why or what. That one word is a question. And I have two examples because sometimes we ask questions because we want information. What's for lunch? We're trying to gather some information. But sometimes people ask questions to test your knowledge, to test what you know. Do you know what 10 plus 10 equals? So those are different types of questions. Now we just need an answer. And remember that question mark at the end that's telling us it's a question. The last word is taught. And that means you have helped somebody. It's the past tense of teach. So it's a verb, it's what you do. You can teach somebody, you can help somebody. But when you've done it in the past, whether it's a minute ago or a year ago or a day ago, we talk, we change the word to taught. We can't say I teach it. We can't add ed to teach or I teached. We can add ed to help, help and helped. We can't do that to teach. So we have to say taught. I am sure that you've taught somebody a thing or two maybe a younger brother or sister or somebody in your class. Let's read through our high frequency one, words one more time. Let's say them together. Clothes, hours, money, neighbor, only, question, taught. Great job. Think about how you might use those in a sentence and look for those when you're reading a weed is a flower this week. I'll see you later.